What's going on guys, my name is Jezzy and today I'm bringing you a guide to the new mission on Lighthouse called Corporate Secrets. Um, now with this mission you have to gain two folders, two data folders from the water treatment plant. Um, what you need to do is you need to get a folder from warehouse number two and warehouse number one. And this mission is pretty difficult. Um, I tried it quite a few times and uh, had a, a lot of failures due to getting just taken out by the MGs and the rogues. had a pretty hard time. Then myself and a friend of mine decided to attempt the mission at night time. And that is when we found the best, what I, what I consider to be the best strategy for this mission. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how we did this mission on our first try. Um, and then hopefully you guys can apply that and get yourself that quest completed. And um, so what you're going to want to do is when you first spawn in as a PMC, um, yes, what you want to do is go nighttime. When you first spawn in, uh, you're going to want to head down to this top right hand side corner of the water treatment. And so wherever you spawn up the river here, you're going to want to move down. Or maybe you're going to spawn down on the south side where you're going to go down the road. Whichever route you're taking, you want to end up at this top right corner here. Uh, there's usually not really any rogues in this area at all. So you should be alright. Um, and definitely equip you definitely equip yourselves with some night vision for this mission. Um, I definitely recommend that. When you get into the warehouses, you tend to turn them off because of all the lights that are around. But when you're up here... Oh, like on the outside, you're definitely going to want MVGs. Um, so what we did from here is we moved up on this east side of the wall. Moved up and you, you're relatively safe, especially at night. The aggro range compared to daytime is significantly re reduced. It's insane how different it is and how much easier it is to fight these rogues at night time. Um, and as you move up, up along this wall, when you get to this uh, this building here on the left side, um, you're going to want to head up the rocks. Okay, and be careful not to go too far because there are mines up there. But if you stay close to the, to like the edge of the rocks, you'll be absolutely fine. When you get up to the top here, you're going to have like a really good perch view where you can get shots off on the MG guys, which are going to be, there's going to be two of them. There's going to be two rogues on this rooftop. One of them is going to have the uh, heavy machine gun, the mountain machine gun on here doesn't show it on this map for some reason but there is a heavy mountain machine gun in the middle here um, once you've taken out these two guys you can then make your way down this hill and there's a hot there's a little doorway here where you can push into this warehouse now be advised there can be rogues that spawn inside of this warehouse um, but pretty much every time I've run this map I haven't encountered them here they've usually been down towards the center or in the other warehouses but just be aware that they can spawn it as well. Now, once you get in here, um, your next step is to try and get to warehouse number two over here. Um, and your best, your best bet for doing this is if you head to the, if you head into the warehouse and take the right, then you can get up on the catwalk area here. There's a tiny little cardboard box that you can stand on, and it gives you a perfect view to see out of the windows and shoot the MG gunner, which is up in this top corner. Now, it's pretty difficult. This guy seems super tanky for some reason. I don't know if there's a weird hitbox on the machine gun, or if he just the, the rogues just have increased health or something like that. But we shot him a couple times, and pretty much every time you'd shoot him, he would just walk off. He would get off the machine gun, and he would walk back. He wouldn't shoot back at you or anything like that. He would just walk back to the middle of the roof here, sit here for like... 20 30 seconds and then he'd walk back to his post and you could shoot him again um sometimes it took us like we had to sit around for a couple minutes and just and until we could finally get a kill on him just it felt like there was a weird hitbox or something like that uh, and then be careful because there can be a second there can be a second road rogue, rogue on this corner sometimes he hangs out around the back or sometimes he comes to the front so just when you go out the door here just be real careful that there's not another one watching and what you want to do here is then make your way to warehouse number two this is where your first folder is going to be that you're going to want to get for this mission. And once you get in here, this is going to be 
the probably the hardest part of this mission i would say is there's always pretty much a guaranteed spawn of four rogues either in or around this warehouse they patrol from this outside area and then they go through the warehouse um you're going to want to just sort of post up get yourself a good a good angle around here and let them push you then you can headshot them one at a time if you're solo i would advise yeah just like having having some good ammunition a decent sized magazine and just letting them push you and just easing them around a corner or something like that don't definitely don't peek at them because these guys are actually insane once you've then taken out all the rogues you should have a bit of free time just to loot up in the warehouse there's some good loot spawns in this warehouse too up in this corner and um, you're then going to get your folder from the office on the right hand side now after that your final objective is to move over to warehouse number one now when i did this mission we got mega like almost we almost got unlucky but it ended up being quite like quite a nice thing is that our server ended up shutting down so we only had like we only had like five minutes to get out of this warehouse push to the last folder uh, but because the server was shutting down we didn't have to go to extract we got to we got to warehouse number one and we just sat in the office and let it extract us and we kept the mission so that was perfect in this warehouse you can pretty much do the same thing where if you go up on the right hand side there's a catwalk and you can see the gunner on the top on the top corner of warehouse number one that's going to be your best bet um but be careful as you move over to warehouse one you're going to watch you want to watch your back because there is a machine gunner on top of warehouse number two here and he will shoot you in the back so we ended up just going out to the corner here and then throwing grenades up and that made the rogues like push away from their posts and move to the other side of the warehouse and that gave us time to run along the wall and then get to warehouse number one now same again when you get to warehouse number one there can be rogues dotted around we got we didn't get any so we were kind of lucky most of us were around warehouse two and then you're going to go in into warehouse number one and same deal once again the office on the right hand side is going to be what you're going for um, and the folder is going to spawn on the desk in a little blue folder. Now, after you've got this warehouse, you then have a couple of options on where you want to extract. Um, you can either head from this warehouse, you can go out across the beach um, and then just follow the coastline all the way around to the bridge. Being careful in mind, you like you really want to pick your path and then stick to the coastline. You don't want to go in these tree areas because there's mines all over the place. Um, Either that, if if the roof, if you're happy that the roof is clear, you could then move from this warehouse up the road and then get into the train station if it's at that time of the raid, or just head all the way up to Northern Checkpoint and get out there. That's going to be, for me, that is the be the best option, the best strategy for this mission, and um, it's re it really helped us. Like I tried this in daytime, and I was just getting taken out instantly as soon as they got up to these rocks in the top side of the map. I was just getting taken out by MGs. They were trying to shoot me through the mountain, everything. It was absolutely chaos. Uh, but yeah, if this guide helped you, um, give the video a like. Comment, let me know down, look, down below how you got on. Uh, maybe you have some better strategies, some better alternative routes that you guys took. Please let me know. Uh, but for now, that's all for me.